What's up, what's up, what's up everyone? It is Jason Chan. I welcome back to my channel. We're here in my warehouse and I'm so excited to finally be able to test something that I've been working on for a little while. Not that long ago, I actually got one of these Electro Voice E-verse speakers. It's a powered eight inch, 400 watt speaker system and it's really cool. It's got the battery life that lasts a long time and in comparison to some of the other powered speakers that I've used in the past, the Mackie, the Bose and some others. Now, this speaker is a lot louder than and a lot of the other powered speakers that I've been using for years. The Bose, the Mackie is new to the market, but this one just blows them out of the water. It's got a 100 by 100 degree sound dispersion pattern, meaning it sends sound out from the box in a very wide pattern, which makes it really, really attractive as a monitor, but also for small space environments, cocktail hours, and I got the idea of using it for a ceremony system, and I've used it a handful of times and have been incredibly impressed with how it sounds with microphones and with sound in the ceremony framework of a wedding celebration. Now, weddings are our thing at SCE, and we do a lot of weddings, and on-site ceremonies have become an incredibly popular trend for years now and every year I feel like we're doing more and more. The interesting thing is some of the venues that are now hosting weddings, at least in our area in the Northeast, they're not framed out typical banquet venues or locations. People are getting creative and having weddings in locations that may not have been originally designed or built to house or to provide accommodations for wedding experience, right? They weren't crafted to have these large events at them. They're picking places that are maybe loft style spaces or tent spaces that are constructed just for their celebration. So us doing wedding ceremonies out in fields or on beaches or in locations that don't have power has become a thing that we deal with quite often here in the New Jersey area in the Northeast. Hosting someone's wedding ceremony can be very stressful. There's a lot of things to worry about and there could be a lot of moving parts. A lot of times couples think that this is an easy part of the day, but you need to make sure the microphones are working. You need to make sure that your sound is clear and everyone can hear it. And I'm always searching for tools to help us level up the experience, especially when we're working in these interesting places that might be sometimes challenging to work in. That's where this speaker and this microphone come in handy. Right here behind me is the Everse 8 by ev and it's my favorite powered small system for ceremonies and cocktail hours. And today I am pumped to say that we've finally been able to test something that we've been working on for a while. Right here we have on top of our Everse 8 is a Sennheiser EWDX microphone that actually is a dual transmitter receiver system allowing us to use two handhelds or a handheld and a lapel mic on one single space small receiver. This system by Sennheiser is a digital system so we don't have to deal with interference and frequency issues that some of the systems of the past have been having issues with especially if you're in areas that may have a lot of people, a lot of cell phones, a lot of interference from external forces outside of your control. So what am I talking about and what have I been waiting for? I've been able to test now right here today and I'm so pumped to record and share this with you that I've been able to power this microphone system from the Everse 8. This right here will be my small, compact, easy to use, quick to use sound system for ceremonies and cocktail hours. This little package right here actually is all self powered. And what's even cooler is you can use a laptop, you could use an iPad or even your iPhone and Bluetooth control music through this box while using both microphones at the same time. So zero cables outside of what you see right here or on the back of the sound system, making our setup time for ceremonies super easy. And it basically eliminates the need of us to have power on site. And I get to transport this stuff super easy in this Everse bag by EV. I literally can walk up to a space with this speaker, this microphone all set up in this bag, pull it out, put it on a stand, and I am good to go. This makes my setup time, this makes my operation super easy and efficient, and it allows me to offer 
two microphones and sound for a ceremony in a remote location like on a beach or on top of a mountain where there may not be power and we have a lot of that here in New Jersey. Right here, I wanna walk you into the back of the speaker and show you how we have it set up. So I wanted to turn this around and show you how we're using this speaker system and talk about the cabling. And then I wanna show you how this all is working together. First and foremost, right here today, I have this speaker on a Chave gravity stand. It's a super clean way to mount a speaker that allows you to elevate it or just keep it at the height it is right now. As you can see, the EV Everse 8 is now sitting on top of the gravity stand, and I have the Sennheiser microphone kit on top of this speaker. Now, Electra Voice has a tray system, and I've ordered the tray system for well over a month at this point, but they still haven't arrived. So in the meantime, and just to get things tested out for today, I put a piece of two inch foam on top of the speaker and I gaff taped my Sennheiser microphone kit to the speaker directly. That's not how I would set it up for long-term use, but it's how I'm gonna use it today to just show you how I plan on using it when the tray arrives here in the future. And that microphone kit is being powered by the DC out from this speaker right here. That's one of the cool things that the EV team did when creating this speaker is they put a DC power out of 500 milliamps right here on the back of the box. That is actually what is powering this microphone kit. And you need a 2.5 to 2.1 millimeter power cable, which I have a link to in the description field if you're looking to get one for your system and doing this exact same setup for yourself. On the back of the actual speaker, we have input one and two. That's being used for the first and second microphone from the Sennheiser mic kit and my inputs three and four is actually what I have reserved for my Bluetooth signal going into this. And for backup, we have a eighth inch stereo in. I wanna show you now what this sounds like in action using these mics here in my warehouse. We have a bunch of stuff in between us and this mic kit. So you get a feel for what it sounds like at distance. We'll test it with just the microphones and we will test it with some sound as well. Now from a sound profile perspective, we have the speaker set to zero dB and the microphones are running just directly into this speaker. So there's no adjustments on the volume levels whatsoever from the mic, but you can get a good feel for how they sound at a distance of, let's just say about 60 feet away right here. Let's go for a walk. Okay, we're here in the back corner of my warehouse. You can see where the speaker is over there. We're also gonna walk outside so you can get a feel for what it sounds like in an outdoor space as well. Let's go over there, you see where it is. And I just wanna talk directly into the microphone so you can get a good feel for the volume level from the box set to zero dB. Check one, two, one, two. And now this right here is a test of the Sennheiser mic kit with the Electra Voice E-verse 8. As you can see, that's plenty of volume for a ceremony, especially in an interesting space. Okay, so mic wise, this is the volume level that you get out from this system. Now I wanna put some audio through it so you get a feel for what that sounds like at a distance away. This right here is Bluetooth, and I'm playing Yellow by Coldplay. Now, so we test volume with music and a microphone at the same time. And now, everyone please rise. And now, everyone please rise. I don't know, whatever they say during ceremonies, you can get an understanding. One, two, check, one, two. Now, 
Now, one thing, if you need a little bit more boost or volume out of this speaker system, one of the cool things that the team at EV has thought of and made possible is it allows you to link these speakers together via Bluetooth. So you can add a second Everse to your area, Bluetooth connect them so you don't have to deal with cables or power for two speakers, giving you more maximum coverage and of course more output. Two sources providing sound linked together via Bluetooth possible with this sound system. And if you need a little bit more boost beyond that, you do have the ability of increasing the output, the volume from the speaker. Again, this right now is set to zero dB. It goes all the way up quite a bit and will give you a lot more volume if you need to. So we decided to take the party outside and we're here in the parking lot at SCE and we wanna do an outdoor demo for you so you can see and hear what it sounds like. And I know it doesn't translate always when you're watching a video on YouTube, but you get a feel for how it sounds at a distance. And I wanna give you that so you understand the power of this system and how you can use it for an outdoor ceremony space if that's something that you do with your services. This microphone actually has the antenna system that comes with the actual kit itself, there are options to upgrade that to give you better, stronger signal if you have any issues with signal, which I don't think you should, but if you needed a stronger or bigger antenna, there are plenty of options available from Sennheiser and other parties to give you a better, stronger signal link between the actual microphones and the receiver up on top of the speaker. Let's go for a walk, let's go for a walk. Now I'm still using Bluetooth, so it's still being controlled via my phone, and I'm playing this off of Spotify, so it's not even like, it's a file that's core on my phone. Still reaching. Still reaching. Let's turn it up a little bit. That's pretty impressive. I don't know if it translates perfectly when you're watching a video on YouTube, but I am one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 parking spaces away and across the parking lot from this speaker. Well over a hundred feet. Let's use the microphone now. Let's turn this down. Now I wanna try the microphone and just test it out. Remember, it's set at zero dB, everything is at unity, and we haven't boosted anything beyond kind of the flat settings of the speaker. Check, Check. One, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two. Check, Check one, two. two. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Check, Check one, two. two. Now, I would probably boost it a little bit if I needed to provide the sound all the way to here. One of my biggest pet peeves when we do ceremonies is when you can't hear what is going on. Whether the officiant doesn't know how to use a microphone or the couple is just soft-spoken. So, the way that I'm using this specific mic kit is it allows us two microphones per that single receiver. I actually bought two handheld microphones and two lav kits for this mic so I can interchange them however I need so that I have the right tools to get the job done when I'm working. The mic kit is powered by the Everse and I just think that is so insanely dope because it gives us so many options to do things in the future. One other thing that I spent some money on and I invested in is the rechargeable batteries for this mic kit and for the lav pack. So I'm gonna put information on this entire system, this entire kit in the description field underneath this video. This successful test is something that I'm super proud of and I've been waiting to do for a long time. So I'm pumped that I can share it with you guys here on this channel because if you are looking to elevate your ceremony or cocktail experience with equipment that makes your life easier, this is something that is worthy of consideration and it doesn't break the bank. And I think that's the key thing here, giving you tools and access to equipment that is easy to use, that makes you efficient when you're working and allows you the flexibility to not worry about things like power or signal when you're in a place that might be somewhat challenging. 
anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video here on the channel. If you are new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, please consider supporting me and this channel with some sub love down below. Just click that subscription button and I would be very, very, very thankful if you have any questions about this system, this kit, or the equipment, throw it in the comments underneath this video and uh, be on the lookout for more content coming right here to this channel in the days, weeks, and the months ahead. Thank you so much for watching this kit, Super Boss. See you soon.